today you'll notice some very significant differences in the way that Glide looks and behaves. So I'm going to take you through some of the fundamental differences so that you can orientate yourself to the new Glide. Previously, we used to navigate around Glide using the left-hand menu. We had layout, tabs, data, preview as, settings, and then a few other buttons. Now we navigate around Glide using the top three buttons in the top bar. We have data, layout, and settings. And later this year, we'll have a new section called actions. There's a basic pattern throughout Glide now where you select an item that you want to configure on the left and then configure it settings on the right. Let's start with the data editor. This is our standard employees template. And as you know, if you've used this template, it has two tables or two sheets. And we can see these two sheets here. And of course we can add new Glide tables here. Down at the bottom, we see our source, which is our employees sheet. And we can click on that to actually go to the Google sheet. And we can also refresh the data here. Of course, on the right hand side, when we click on a table, we see all of the data here and we can edit that data. Just above the data editor, we have the preview as button. We also have the title of the sheet or table, the find column search box, and the add new column button. Let's head over to layout. In this little icon, you can see a drop down where we can change between Android and iPhone. And later this year, we'll be rolling out a feature where you can preview your app on different device sizes. Layout is where we see the most striking changes of Glide. On the left hand side, we can see that we can now configure tabs as well as components side by side. So we're currently on the employees tab. And if I click on the locations tab, we'll see the app change. But also on the right, we can see the options to configure that tab change. At the top of this configuration, we can see where we are. In other words, what tab that we're on. If we go into an item, however, we can start seeing that we have a new breadcrumb menu. This is showing us where we are in our app and we can actually click back to go to the locations tab. We have the classic tab configuration here with layout and options where we can configure the visibility and we can change the name, source sheet and tab icon. But because this is a top level list screen, we also have the ability to change the style of the list layout. But there's more to the configuration of this list. If we look on the left hand side, underneath the tab section, we can see that we have an area called components. Typically before we used to think of components only living on detail screens. In other words, components only used to live on screens when we clicked into an item, we could configure the components. However, now we can see that there's only one component here on this top screen. And if we try and add one, we'll be told for now, you can only add a component in a details view. In future, this will change. But for now, having the components on the left persistently, no matter what screen you're on, has many benefits. On this top level list screen, we see a single inline list component where we can configure uh, that inline list. We can also change it to an add screen, allow people to add items. And then when we open that add screen, the components list on the left changes and we see all of our add screen components. This is of course the same for edit screens. And if we add a form and we open that form, we'll see that we now have the form components on the left. So components are always on the left and tabs are always on the left in the layout section of Glide. So now we understand tabs and top level list layouts. Let's go into one of our items on a detail screen. I'm going to click this form button and we're going to see that on the right hand side, our navigation or breadcrumb is telling us that we are on the locations tab on a detail screen and inside the button component. So this tells us visually what we're configuring. And of course we have the same settings that we had before for components. Those haven't changed much at all. Lastly, we have the settings area, which also hasn't changed much. It just flies out on the right in a different way. And again, something I want to highlight is that we have this persistent preview as experience on all of these screens. We have preview as in the data editor, we have preview as in layout and preview as in the settings area. So that's a look at the new version of Glide. There'll be many more changes rolling out over the next few months. If you're interested in giving us feedback, you can head over to community.glideapps.com and let us know what you think. Enjoy.